Welcome, how's everyone doing? Uh, this video that I'm making right now, it's uh, it's one that's a little bit overdue. Uh, I'm mainly saying this because it's, uh, it's something I thought about doing a while ago, but I guess I just didn't have the time, or I don't know, just wasn't invested into making videos, as I feel like I am now. Anyways, so moving on. So basically, this video is uh, my wish list of uh, figures that would uh, come out for Rebel Tech for the Marvel, Marvel line. Because as many as you guys know, uh, there's some that are coming out, but it's for the My Hero, My Hero Academia, or the, and also they're moving towards uh, DC as well. I think the only one that's coming out this year is going to be the, um, so far that they have announced for Marvel is War Machine, and that thing looks amazing already. And so this is just a list that I put together, and this is how old this list was that actually two figures that I put in my list, which is uh, Psylocke and Gambit, they were originally on my list, and you know, they're figures now. That just goes to tell you how long ago I made this list, and um, how long I thought about this. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we also trying to uh, incorporate more figures into this video, and maybe also try to add some pictures, since I have, you know, ideas about it. Okay, so... The first figure I actually had in mind for this, uh, for this line, is this one, which is Omega Red. For anyone that doesn't know, I mean, just we have not gotten that many villains in a while. I mean, it's it's usually been heroes. Um, the only villains I guess we've gotten is Venom, and even then he's more an anti-hero. But anyways, Venom, Carnage. And um, Magneto. That's it. I mean, we need more villains in this line. And I feel like this would be a good kickoff for it. I mean, these tentacles that he has. Uh, just the crazy amount of stuff that this line can do with those kind of um, ideas. That, you know, I just feel like that would be a good start for maybe this new line. Or, I mean, not the new line, but... Um, Villains, they could start kick off like uh, more villains because they've given us plenty of heroes. And if you're gonna give us Wolverine, I mean, you gotta give us some of his enemies. I don't have Sabretooth on my list because I feel like he's he's not what this line needs. He needs this line needs more uh, of uh, villains that have uh, or characters that have uh, powers, these crazy powers, or you know, tentacles, or you'll see later on on my descriptions of all these ones that I have. So that's one that I would like, Omega Red, and I am going to be posting maybe some uh, some of the figures that I have just to give you a, an idea of, um, I guess, the scale that I would want them as. Because we will take, they have a good scale, I feel like. Um, yeah. Some of the figures may be a little bit bigger, but yeah. Next one, I would like for there to be a Mr. Sinister. Hang on. Yeah, that'll do. So basically, they have the mold already that they did with the uh, um, Magneto. But I mean, just this cape. And I know that's one of the things that Rewill Tech, uh, they probably, they give them a lot of crap for. Not many people like the capes. I myself like them. Um, granted, I never got the Batman one. And I hear that one was a mess. But I mean, I like the Magneto one. I like uh, Gambit's coat. Um... It's always it's nice a you know it's always nice uh, making pictures with them. It's always a challenge just figuring out how you want to do it. And like sometimes I've said, sometimes those capes are a figure on their own. But I like them. I like the challenge. Um, and I feel like this picture, uh, this figure alone, would be a good challenge for anybody willing to do it. You know, just just the cape alone. I feel like this is it was what would make this figure great. And like I said, we need villains. You're going to give us some X-Men's, you know, give us more X-Men villains. Next one. Oh, and these are by no particular order, but when I do show one, uh, I will say that that's like my number one figure I would love to see be announced at some, at some point this year. And I know there's a big uh, comic um, show, or I mean, toy show coming up soon, so hopefully... Something will be announced then. 
This next one, it's um, it's a two part or somewhat of a different part. So I would really like for them to maybe re-release or do another something else with uh, Spider-Man. Whether if it's the Black Symbiote or the Ben Riley one, which I love. Who doesn't love the Scarlet Spider, Ben Riley clone? Um, Spider-Man a hoodie. I mean, what could go wrong with that? A little bit. I would also like um, for the maybe the 2099 Spider-Man one. I don't have that figure, so I don't. Um, I'll try to post it on here. But yeah, I would like something like that. I mean, they already have the design. They already made the Spider-Man, so they just throw a hoodie on it, throw these things on it, and that, or who knows? But I mean, I just, I just feel like Spider-Man. I feel like I think it was the first one in the line. Granted, it has all these flaws, but it's Spider-Man. You want him to be acting, uh, jumping crazy, you know, doing crazy twirls in the air. Sorry, as the car going by. So yeah, that's why I feel like Spider-Man was a good way of maybe kicking off this line because it's it's what the character is. It's a it's a acrobat. So yeah, so Spider-Man's we need more spider man Kind of like the SH Figure Arts line gives us a bunch of Goku's. Maybe this line can give us more spider man All right. Next one, I don't have the figure. Uh, I know it released this year. I've been looking at GameStop, Walgreens, my local uh, toy shops, but it's uh, and it is my number one. I'll try and post a picture on here, but it's uh, Doctor Doom. It's it's just it's crazy to me that it took us forever to get one. And I mean, yeah, uh, the Marvel Legends one says it looks pretty good. I can't wait to get it. And I'm still going to get it, but I mean. As soon as this one came out, as soon as Magneto came out, I was like, Doctor Doom has to be next. I mean, that's what that is. I mean, that's that's Doctor Doom. We just need green with the armor. I mean, the cape. I mean, I'm okay with them releasing it like that. I mean, if they want to go the extra mile, they can do the cloth cape. And I feel like people will lose their minds and just throw money at Rebel Tech. Because who doesn't need... Um, uh, Dr. Doom being able to do what this Magneto does and I love it and also it would even it might even give uh, more business to Marvel Legends because I feel like you can make maybe the Dr. Doom Rebel Tech one the main one and the Marvel Legends ones like you can army build them and be like those are the bots you know I don't know I feel like that could be a little plus a bonus for that uh, like I said the next one on my line was Gambit and obviously that one came out already it's a good figure, but I feel like I need to post it more. And I know why I haven't is because I feel like we need more X-Men in this line. So that's what my next thing will be. And I'll put them all, I'll try and put them all on here, the ones that I have. I think, I love the Mesco Cyclops. But I really like the design of what Rebotech does. So I feel like if we got a Rebotech Cyclops, a cable. Give me a second. Um, oh, is she gonna stand? All right, that works. Uh, ro uh, rogue and um, come on. In a storm. Anyways, so I feel like if we got more X-Men in the line, then that would be great. Um, great, my battery's getting ready to die. Hopefully I can finish this. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they gave us um, Gambit and uh, Wolverine. I mean, where's where's the other ones? Uh, I know that uh, Mesco's coming out with the cable soon. And, uh, I mean, like you can see, I, have the, I already have the... Um, the Cyclops, but I feel like Rebel Tech would do a much better job because we need them doing crazy poses. And I feel like they can deliver on that. And also, I feel like they did a good job with, Psy with Psylocke for the females. So I feel like they they know what they're doing with those. Uh, maybe just tweak it a little bit more. Her joints are a little bit 
they're too tight, but I mean, they kind of have to be a little bit since he's a smaller character, but they did it with Psylocke, so they can probably easily do it with uh, Storm. And you know, like I said, her cape would be a bit of a challenge for some people, but I'm up for it, but yeah. The next one is, let me see. It's a figure that, it's another one long overdue because they've given us Iron Man, they've given us Captain America. We need a Thor. I feel like we don't have one that's a definitive one. Uh, uh, to me, um, I like the size of this one. I just feel, I wish he could move more. I wish I could do more with the cape, but you know, I don't, I don't want to invest in a cloth cape on this figure when all it has is two two hands, the same hands, a face that doesn't do much. It doesn't have much articulation. I wish they could do more. And I feel like if they did, they focus on something like this Thor, and they did it their own way, it's it'll be a home run. But yeah, that's another one. And yeah, I'm gonna have to hurry so this camera doesn't die. The next one is um, going into. They start giving us something and then they, they stop. We need a Doc Ock. I mean, his arms alone is why we need this figure. They're imagining, like I said, with uh, if they do something great with uh, Omega Red, imagine the crazy stuff they can do with Doc Ock. They've given us uh, so far two Sp Spider Man villains, so I mean, why not do that? And why not just go crazy and give us a uh, Green Goblin and also a um, Mysterio. They're figures that, I mean, they're popular right now. I mean, especially Mysterio because of the movie. And I don't see why they haven't done one. I mean, it's kind of hard for them to release uh, figures that match with the movies. Only Mar two uh, Spider-Man villains, so why not go the extra mile? You know, give us Doc Ogg, give us Green Goblin. And, um... Mysterio, um, they're, uh, I feel like they're uh, really iconic and maybe even work their way into building the Sinister Six for the Spider-Man line, for the Spider-Man villains. I mean, Marvel Legend releases so many figures a year and yet they have yet to give us a definitive um, Sinister Six line. So, I mean, why not beat them to the punch? And yeah, and my last one that I have I'm just gonna ro go and run through them quick so this camera doesn't die on me since I did not think to charge it. So let's see, uh, of course, uh, X23, we already got um, Wolverine, so we know they can do. Imagine this combined with that. So yeah, Wolverine combined with uh, Psylocke, X23 basically. Uh, we need a Daredevil. Uh, Silver Samurai, I actually have that one here, but yeah, just to get an idea, should, should probably be a little bit taller, but yeah, something along those lines. We need a uh, Spiral, which is she's from, um, yeah, uh, X Men. And last but not least, it's either uh, Archangel or Vulture. Just those wings alone, it, they scream out Rebel Tech. I don't know why they have not done those throw concept art or just say something about it. I mean, those things are meant for this line, are meant for the way that they do their capes. And you know, like I said, they have they gave us Spider-Man villains, why not Vulture? They gave us, uh, they started giving us X-Men slash uh, also X-Force, why not Archangel? And yeah, uh, and also last thing, if anybody can um, put it together, I'm also, um, I feel like, and I've said it from the beginning, I feel like Rebel Tech pulls a lot from the Marvel vs. Capcom games, especially number two. My old, my dream has always been to, yeah, my dream, <laughs> to complete the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 line. And I'm close to it, and I feel like uh, they would help out a lot if they start throwing some of those figures my way. But yeah, they, um, like I said, they pull a lot from this line. So yeah, that's my quick video. Just rambling on 
thoughts on this line that I I really like. Uh, I feel like um, ever since that Magneto came out and people weren't too happy with the cape, it started going down. But I mean, they pulled strong. I mean, they released the uh, Carnage, Iron Man, and um, War Machine next year, and they're figures that have so many accessories. So maybe they're going that route, and maybe another route they can go to if they don't they want to take a break from Marvel figures itself. Why not give us um, faces? Like we could use a um, mask off for uh, unmask head for Deadpool, Iron Man, Psylocke, or maybe just a different hair for her. Um, Carnage, Venom, Spider Man. I mean, we got oh Wolverine. We've had some for. Um, different characters but I mean just give us a small pack or maybe give them to us and as part of uh, accessories for other figures I think it could go a long way um, like I said uh, if you don't have many accessories for a figure that you're coming out with maybe throw a mask on mask head for another one that you've already released and you know some people have that so I mean that that would make us more uh, inclined to buy the figure. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts about this line that I feel like uh, has not gotten the credit that it deserves, and maybe that's maybe that's why they're moving to uh, towards DC, towards anime. But I feel like they did a good job with this um, the Marvel side, so uh, they should stick around for it and just give us more. But yeah. That's all.